Welcome to The Pursuit, a test of intelligence for the smartest people on Earth. I've been studying and I'm totally going to ace this competition. Ha <laughs> I'm Dictionary Dan and I know the whole dictionary. Dictionary Dan. I'm Shereasaurus. You trying to be a dinosaur? No. Like, I know the whole thesaurus. A thesaurus is... A thesaurus is a book that helps you find synonyms, which are words that mean similar things. Yeah, I already knew that. Hilarious. I am totally going to achieve victory in this competition. In our show, you face off against a super smart champion who will do anything he can to keep you from winning. Get ready to face Rocky the Rock Raccoon. Inconceivable. Round one, how many questions can you answer correctly? For each correct answer, you can take a step closer to the prize. Dan, what is two plus two? What? That question is so easy. You ran out of time. Sharia, what is the name of the animal that goes moo? Uh, 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 bovine, no, no uh, cow. Correct. Dan, spell carrot. That's easy, carrot. C-A-R-R-O-T, carrot. Correct. Sharia, what is three times three? Oh, I studied words, not math. Nine. Correct. Time is up. Now it's time for our champion to try. Rocky, what is four plus four? What animal goes quack? Spell the word maize. What is the scientific name of a potato? Great job. Those questions were way simpler than I thought they'd be. Well, except for the potato one. Yeah, what's up with that? Just goes to show that sometimes the simple answer is the best place to start. Hey everyone, as you've probably figured out by now, we have some very special guests here with us on the Elevate Show today. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Kristen and Rocky. everyone! If you have ever gone to our Kidodio program, you'll have seen Kristen teaching preschoolers all about God in a whole bunch of different places. And if you have ever tried to explain something to a brother or a sister who's in preschool, you know that you have to be super clear and simple, just like in our game show. We have a lot of fun, don't we, Rocky? <laughs> Coming up next, we are going to tell a Bible story about a man who has some very complicated questions for Jesus. See you in a bit. Welcome back, everyone. It's time for a Bible story. This is the story of Jesus and Nicodemus from John chapter 3. I'll be playing Jesus. And I'll be playing the part of Nicodemus. Let's get started. One night, very late, Jesus heard someone at his door. Who could be at this hour? Hi, Jesus. I'm Nicodemus. Nicodemus had snuck out very late at night to see Jesus. Think about that. Nicodemus was an adult, he was smart, and he had learned a lot about God. But he still had a lot of questions. All right, here's the deal. If the other Pharisees knew I was here, they would be very unhappy, but I just have to ask you some questions. Of course. All right. Well, you've been doing a lot of miracles. Are you really sent by God? How cool is that? He got to talk to Jesus himself. If you got to talk to Jesus, what question would you ask him? Maybe, what's heaven like? Or how did God make the whole world? Well, Jesus and Nicodemus got to talking about some pretty complicated questions. So, how do I follow God? How do I become part of his kingdom? No one can enter the kingdom of God unless they are born again. What? That's ridiculous! I cannot go back into my mother's belly. I... All right, 
What about the Holy Spirit? That sounded interesting. Okay, well, the wind blows where it wants to. You can hear the sound that it makes, but you can't be sure where it's coming from or where it's going. The same is true for everyone who is born of the Spirit. Okay. Hmm. This is very complicated. I really thought I'd be able to understand this better. Jesus and Nicodemus talked about some hard to understand things. But I think what Nicodemus really wanted to know might have been... So God sent you, Jesus, but why? Why did God send you here? What is God's big plan? These questions were pretty complicated. That's why John, the author of this book, wrote a very famous verse to explain everything they were talking about. God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son, Anyone who believes in him will not die, but will have eternal life. John 3.16 But that's so simple. Shouldn't God's plan for you be super complicated, hard to understand? Nope. God sent me to show that he loves everyone. He sent me to give everyone the chance to live the way he made them to, so they can live with him forever. And that's the story. So Nicodemus learned that God sent Jesus for a very simple reason, to show us how much he loves us. That's right, Rocky. And that means something really important for us today, too. And we're going to talk all about it in our next segment called Tell Me About It. See you there. Welcome back, everyone. It's time for Tell Me About It. John 3.16 is one of the most well-known verses of all time. Now, it's okay if you've never heard it before, but if you have, it might feel like, I've heard this like a million times. I think sometimes we all feel like Nicodemus might have. Like, we want God to give us something super smart to say so that it'll make us look really good. The thing is, we've got to figure out the simple things before we can move on to the difficult things. Can you imagine if we started learning the complicated things first in math or music? Okay class, it's time for our first ever math lesson. We usually start with something easy like two plus two, but everyone knows that. So... Okay, I've never done this before. What do we do? It's easy. Watch. You just go like this. That wouldn't work at all. In the same way, Jesus wants to make sure that we understand the most important things first before we move on and talk about more difficult, complicated stuff. So what's the whole big idea with John 3.16? Well, it tells us why Jesus came to earth in the first place. Listen to Kristen read it one more time. God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son. Anyone who believes in him will not die, but will have eternal life. John 3, 16. Jesus came to earth because God loves the whole world. And when we trust and believe in Jesus, that means we get to live with him forever in heaven after we die here on earth. Jesus wants everyone to believe in him. So what can we learn from all this? I think the answer is simple. Jesus loves every person. Your friend at school? Jesus loves them. Your brother or sister? Yeah, them too. Your parents, grandparents? Yep and yep. But what about that kid at school that really annoys me? Them too. Jesus loves every person. And we were made to reflect that love to every person we see. So how can we try that out this week? What do you think, Kristen? Well, I think we can share Jesus' love by caring for others, helping and serving, and inviting our friends to church to learn about God. Totally. Jesus loves every person, so we can share that love with every person that we meet. Hey, that's all we've got for you this week on Tell Me About It, but stay tuned. Shell's not done yet. We've got a fun game coming up right after the break. Hey everyone, welcome back. And it is time, time for- Kid Wampus, let's go. Kid Wampus, 
It's time, Let's I don't think it's time for Kitawampus, Rocky. Actually, it's time for... Are, Are you smarter, smarter than a third grader? grader? In this game, Kristen is going to be asking the two of us questions that you might find on a test in third grade. And it's up to both of us to try and get the answers right. I feel like some of our viewers are going to know the answers to all of these. They're super smart. Yeah, well, I got faith in us too. <laughs> we got this. I am so ready. All right, here is your first question. What continent is the least populated? And answers, please. Oh, uh, uh, uh. <laughs> All right, Africa and Antarctica. Dan, no! you are correct. I didn't even think of that. <laughs> Come on. I didn't even think of that. All right, next question is, what is a group of porcupines called? This is tricky. All right, let's see your answer. Quill? A group of porcupines. <laughs> oh, wow. Not quite. Ooh. A group of porcupines is called a prickle. A prickle. Oh. <laughs> All right, next question is, what are the five interrogative words? And answers, please. Who, what, when, where, why, and a bonus, how? Oh, well, my bonus was my five, and I forgot what. <laughs> so we had the same answer, but not. Excellent. This says who, what, when, where, and why. With That's the right. bonus, how. I can't believe I forgot <laughs> what. What? What are you doing? <laughs> Next question is, how many grams are in a thousand kilograms? So many. All right, let's see those answers. Mm. <laughs> the answer is one million. <gasps> I got it. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> I showed my work. Good job. I did yes. see. Just I'm like in third grade when I had to show my work. You did it. Next question. If a car is traveling at 40 miles per hour, how long will it take you to go 190 miles? This is a math question here. <laughs> oh man. Oh, Doing it on no. the spot. Time is running out. And let's see those answers. Okay, so it'd be 4.75 hours, which would be four hours and 45 minutes. That's also what I got. And that is correct. <sighs> let's Great go. Job. Yay, math. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here's another one. What would a diurnal animal do? What? <laughs> oh, oh, no, no, I need to write that differently. I know exactly what it would do. Um. <laughs> and let's see those answers. A diurnal animal would be awake during the day. It would turn into a bat. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good try, but Dan is correct. What? I have <laughs> never heard that word in my entire life. There's diurnal and there's nocturnal. Okay. You've heard of Earl. nocturnal animals. Oh, uh, yes. Noct night. That makes sense. Well, and that was our last question. So great job, everybody. Nice. Thanks. <laughs> that was really fun. But I think that if I went back to third grade, I'd have a lot to relearn. Maybe, maybe not. We will let you be the judge of that. Uh, hey, anyway, it is now time for a mailbox moment. It's a mailbox moment. All right, we've got a few questions this week. Our first one says, please bring Kristen on the show. P.S. My mom. Hold on a second. Does that look like Molly's handwriting to you? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Bam! Molly, you just got your wish. <laughs> awesome. Thanks for being here, Kristen. 
Our second question is from Fritz, and Fritz is asking, do you actually like dictionaries? <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, I gotta let you know, Fritz has actually asked this question multiple times, and I'm happy to tell you the answer is yes. I love the dictionary, I refer to it often. Honestly, I love big words, and I wish I could say them more often. <laughs> Our final question today is from Zoe, and Zoe is wanting to know, how do you guys know so much about the Bible? Mm, that's a good question. I mean, I know for me, I like to spend time reading the Bible to learn more about God. That's great. I like to do that too, and I think I learned a lot about the Bible by coming to church. How about yeah. you? Yeah, when I talk to my friends who follow Jesus, I find that I learn a lot from them. That's great, great answers. Well, I love what we learned today. Jesus loves every person. No matter who they are or where they're from, Jesus loves them. And he wants us to show them love too. Well, Kristen, Rocky, thank you so much for joining us on the Elevate Show today. And Thank you for joining us too. We'll see you next time.